David Costa, Dean at Robert Kennedy College, joins us to run through some of the themes of the day. Um, David, I don't know if you heard Jeff there, we were just talking about this rally we saw in the US yesterday, whether uh, it is based on fundamentals. Do you think the fact that we had such a strong day by the close yesterday is reflective uh, of what's really going on in the economy and in the markets? Good morning, Rebecca. Well, first of all, we are at very, very low levels, so um, the rally of yesterday is still far away from where we want to go, I assume. But uh, I will still be cautious because uh, there is so much confusion in the market, uh, mostly due to the deleveraging process, that it's very difficult to know uh, what is real and what is not real. So I will still be cautious on saying that's the real economy in catching up. Of course, we had some good news. There is this expectation of the Fed to cut rate today. And that certainly plays a role, but I wouldn't really say it's just the economy bringing up the shares and everything. It, it has to do also a lot with uh, both mutual and hedge funds and the deleverage process. It depends what they're doing. Maybe they weren't selling yesterday, so that's has much to do with that as well. Uh, so for the time being then, David, it's more here in Asia. You still recommend a, a portfolio that is uh, high in cash, a very liquid portfolio? Yes, in my opinion, we still have to, to stay uh, a bit on the sidelines with a lot of cash, very much cash, as much as you can, obviously. Um, and the reason is mostly there is too much leverage on the market. And because of the leverage, there is too much danger. So I would try to stay on the sidelines, but gradually I would enter in some interesting sector, like I see agriculture as a potentially good sector, and I see also some agricultural commodities are being uh, oversold at the moment. And of course, if you enter without any leverage, you can get some good results in the long term. David, you seem to obviously think that this leverage is the, the sort of crucial, the crucial factor in the markets at the moment. How long is it going to take us to adequately deleverage so that we can get back to uh, some kind of level ground? Uh, it's very difficult to know. It's almost impossible because the deleverage occurs mostly at the, at, in this stage at the at the edge fund level, which are highly leveraged. So it's very difficult because this, the edge funds are not regulated and they're like a, a black box. We don't know what is inside. We don't know the, the, the dimension. I mean, we know the dimension of the market, but we don't know how much leverage they are taking on. So it's very difficult to say, but uh, seeing the, over, the, 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 the great sell-off in the last days, I think we're not far away. We could be very close, so it's a good time to watch. And David, I, I see here in my notes that you think we could see a, a reinflation of, or not, reinflation is the wrong word, you can see a reappreciation, I should say, of uh, agricultural assets. Explain this. Well, you have, if you look at agriculture now, what happens is this. Number one, you, the prices are very low. And, and so it's not very profitable now to sell your products now. Secondly, access to credit, lending to agriculture, to farmers and so on, it's at the bottom and is almost inexistent in the United States. Another problem is prices are raising both on the, on the fertilizer and uh, on the crops and on, on the seeds and crop protection, everything. So with prices raising more than 50% and the inability to get any loan on, on what will be your next... Uh, uh, harvest, uh, how they're going to survive. So there will, they will be less in the future, it's highly oversold, and uh, those are something we cannot live without. We cannot live without eating. And uh, so the demand and supply balance is not right. And uh, when this happens, on the long run, you're always going to make a profit. All right, David, thank you so much for joining us today. David Costa, Dean at the Robert Kennedy College.